Hi, in this e session we're going to be looking at what it takes to um, upload a PDF and then link it to a button in one of our pages. Alright, so here we are at a website and if I go over to a specific page um, we will see that we've got some buttons lined up and uh, what we're planning on doing is uh, linking them to PDF files. Alright, so it's a two-step process. First we're going to be uploading the PDFs and uh, then we're going to be linking the buttons to them. Alright, so let's have a look at that first step. Uh, what you're going need to need to do is go into your back end or your dashboard, however you like to refer it to, um, and you're going to be going to the media option that's just here. So I'm just going to click on that, and um, through that option we're going to be able to upload our PDF file. So, all right, so uh, we've got a button here that says Add New. There is an option here on the menu that says Add New as well, but uh, they're both the same. I click on Add New, and uh, what it's going to do is it's going to open up the screen that allows me to upload the file. I'm just going to click on Select Files from that big button that's right in the middle and then I'm going to upload my PDF file and uh, just the normal stuff for uploading same as any website so that should just take a second to upload it's a nice small file alright so we've got our uh, PDF file that's all uploaded and ready to go um, what we need to do now is we need to get the specific URL uniform resource locator um, or otherwise known as the web address for that PDF file and the way we do that, or one of the ways that we do that anyway, is uh, clicking on this edit button that's just over here. Okay, so if I click on that it's going to open up a window and it's going to show me all the specifics for this particular file and um, there's there's a few ways that I can get at it. Um, there's a link just over here that um, if I just copy all of this and that's a link to my file. I don't actually need all of the, 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 the link I actually only just need this bit that goes to the beginning of WP content. Um, so let's do that. All right, so that's it. We've uh, copied the address. We've got that in our, our computer clipboard. So what we're going to do now is we're going to link um, the button to the file. All right, so um, here we are at the page that we want to do and um, that we want to edit, I should say. And there's our handy little link here at the top that says edit page. So I'm going to click on that and uh, that's going to open up the uh, dashboard screen for this particular page. Alright, so while we wait for that to load, I do actually have a couple of buttons here already set up. Uh, let's just imagine that they already have um, their own links, so uh, we'll create a new one. Um, the easiest way to do that is just to copy one of the existing buttons. So, um, as per always, throughout our, our Visual Composer WordPress system, we've got a handy little green menu here, and we've got our copy button. Uh, so I'm just going to click on that, and that's going to create a new button for us. See the way it did that? Alright, now that I've got a new button, I'm going to just change the details for this. Um, I'm going to change the text that's on the button, and I'm also going to change um, the file that it links to. So I'm going to click on the magic green pencil, as always, and uh, that's going to open up our screen where I'm able to uh, change the text on the button. So um, in this case, it's going to be the June 2016 newsletter. Alright, now that's uh, me changing that, that that entry here that's under text, that will change the label that's on the button. And what we need to do now is we need to uh, set the URL that the button links to. So I'm going to click on this button that says select URL. Alright, so the first thing that it asks me is uh, what URL do I want? And I'm just going to paste in what I got from our other screen. Remember we were over here in the edit screen for our, for our PDF file, and it just came from over here. Okay. Now, um, the reason that I'm only copying from WP content onwards um, is because uh, this website hasn't gone live yet. Um, you'll notice that our uh, domain name right now is uh, .coming soon. That's going to change as soon as we go live. So um, we can leave that out and uh, the link will work just as well. Okay, so we just leave out the whole domain name and we just start at WP content and uh, the rest of the file name. Uh, one thing that you might like to do is uh, when people click on the, 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 the button, that the PDF opens up in a new window rather than taking over the website and um, so if I just click this button here that says uh, open link in a new tab um, that's going to make it so that when people click the button the PDF opens up in a new tab or window okay all right so we just click on set link and um, you can see here we're all good and ready to go I click on save changes now and as per always I click on update at the end of all of that and uh, we just wait for that to refresh and okay so we're looking pretty good now I'm just going to open up the page and uh, we're just going to test our handiwork just have a look we should have three buttons for starters 
Okay, so remember that we changed the text on the button to June 2016. And um, if I click on this button now, it should open up a new window and it'll open up our PDF. And uh, we're all good. So, uh, yeah, hopefully that was clear enough and hopefully you found that productive. And if you have any questions, hit us up here at Bloom360. Thanks very much. Talk to you later.